What's going on, you guys? This is Andrew Roboto here, and welcome to the Tubbyland Archives Act 1. Well, this is a Fine Nights at Tubbyland game made by Critiolicious, and for those who don't know, she is the developer of the Fine Nights at Tubbyland series, which, is, which she made Fine Nights at Tubbyland 1, 2, and 3, and I've played those games in the past, and they were pretty fun, but hard, because, but hard as hell, though, because once you get to the later nights, it gets hard as hell. But anyways, um, this game just came out a couple weeks ago, and I've been wanting to play it for a while. So yeah, so anyways, without further ado, we'll start a new week, and let's see what it has to offer for us. Oh wait, okay, before I get started, I forgot to mention, this game is also made by um, There's No Stake, the cre which he is the creator of um, Tubbyland Act 1 Rebuilt. And then this game is also made by Pigsty55, which... For those who don't know, he is a voice actor in Fine Nights with Bud Rebooted. He voices himself. And he also, um, and he's also created, a, and he's also taken part in developing a couple of Fine Nights with Tubbyland games. And then Teletubbies belongs to Wild Brain. FNAF belongs to Scott Cathan, creator of Fine Nights Freddy. So, yeah, so anyways, without further ado, we'll start a new week. Let's see what it has to offer for us. Double click, okay. Alright, night one. Oh, we got a phone call. It's an interesting cutscene. I don't know why I can't hear the phone call that well. Okay, then. Okay, that's a... Okay, Dipsy's eye just moved. That creeped me out. <laughs> okay, here we are. The Tubby Land Act 1 Archives. Alright, so are we jumping into night one? Oh, here's a tip we have. She follows the sound. Hiding won't do you much good. Okay. So I guess that's our tip for night one. All right, here we go. On to night one. Oh, nice office. Oh, this is the cameras. Okay. Okay, we get a phone call. Good. Yeah, of course. Right here. Why 
Any ball will turn. Okay, I see the lightning bolt. I remember that from a second game. Really oh, there's a flashlight? Yeah. Oh, it's right here. That's the intercom system. Okay, so if Poe moves closer to me, then we have to play the um, audio sound. Okay, so when's Poe going to start moving? And I can see why there's a flash, there's a light. There's a flash on the camera because the place gets pretty dark. Okay, so we'll look for her and figure out what to do. Okay, I'm going to look for Poe and we'll figure out. Where she's at. Did Poe just move or something? I thought I heard something. Okay. I have limited flashlights, so I gotta be careful with that. Okay, let me see what the sound button does. I'll figure that I'll find that out once Poe comes. Okay. For a second, I couldn't find Poe on the camera. <laughs> okay. Oh, at least we get to retry the night, so that's good. Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing I have to repeatedly press the um, sound cue button. Okay. All right, so I'll just repeatedly press the sound cue button to kind of slow her down a bit. It does take a little bit of time to recharge, so. I guess we'll just play it in like 3A or something just to keep her away. Oh, here's Poe. Okay, so Poe starts in Cam 5A. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to see if I can keep her in a certain camera. I'm going to try to keep her away from me, because if she gets to my office, then I'm dead. Oh, I found Poe. 